Some students have found a very creative way to recycle trash and debris from their school in the Adirondacks. Our Jack LeDuc shows us. Throughout the centuries, many people claim they saw a real sea serpent. Most visitors here say that this sculpture looks like what they imagine a sea serpent would look like. Giving this creature lifelike features was the goal of a small group of students at North Country School in Lake Placid. Jody and Bill Domenico allowed the handcrafted creature to take form on their Woodworth Street property. Larry Robjent of North Country School guided his students through the low budget structure. Well, we do a lot of sculpture at the school, so we have many different things around at the school. So we have roosters and owls and all sorts of things because the kids create that in the class out of scrap metal. And so Bill and Jody had seen that over the years and they talked about having something here on their lawn. And so we kind of got together and decided that a sea serpent would be pretty fun. Every scaly inch of the sea serpent was made of scrap metal. Junk at the school is set aside for creative projects like this one. That adds up to big cost cutting on projects. We spent six dollars. Yeah, uh, some there were some self-tapping screws that we needed to get a few extra of, and so that's kind of what we spent on this thing. In 1609, Samuel D. Champlain claimed he saw a sea serpent in Lake Champlain. Many other alleged claims have been made since then. Now, the Lake Champlain monster has become known as Champ taking his place along beside the world-famous Loch Ness monster called Nessie. Now we have Tessie. Students are now building a rickshaw out of scrap metal for an upcoming school play. Students learn from every project. I learned how to use many of the tools in the shop. Um, I also learned how to work with other people and how to follow instructions, but also like have my own ideas and create new things. The beauty of sculpture is that, especially with kids, is that it kind of goes from one thing to another and one design idea to another. So we had some general ideas that we wanted it to come in and out of the soil, kind of Loch Ness Monster or Champy style, and then we kind of went from there. The dragon was made from a knockdown greenhouse, scales from sheet metal roofing, and a trashed office cabinet. All discarded materials. The Happy Face Monster sits on private property on Woodworth Street. Uh, Winter Carnival, we're going to deck it out and have it be kind of a focal point. Um, put lights on it, maybe some fire aspects. Uh, but really, we want to invite the public to come out and enjoy this. Um, the head is articulated, so you can move it with levers and you know move the mouth. And we've already had some kids on, on the property. and. They love it. This huge sea serpent is placed close to the sidewalk and the road so you can get a good view of this spectacular piece of artwork as you pass by. Art can be seen in like many different forms and people think art is like painting, ceramics, but art is anything is cool or visually appealing. Rob Gent said that they put a smile on the face of the critter as it undulates across the Dominico's lawn. But unlike the elusive Loch Ness Monster or Champ of Lake Champlain, this jaw-dropping serpent is now on view 24-7 for anyone to lay eyes on. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc in Saranac Lake.